Okay. So what do we do in this? So So what is the background in in changing coordinate matrix, uh, changing bases, right? You are jumping from the initial base to the final base. When I say initial, because I'm, I'm moving from U to V. Mm -hmm. So the initial is R2 and I'm going to R2 again. And all those may change. It depends on the application, maybe polynomials mm -hmm. or matrices. So the always uh, guess what is your final mm, basis? Okay. So I am jumping from B to C, right? Mm -hmm. Because the theorem says uh, the one on the left is my last basis. So this is the last, it means the new basis. Okay, this is the new. Mm -hmm. Now the, the B is the initial, you get it? Mm -hmm. So B, we call B is the initial basis, mm -hmm. or let's say the old basis. Mm -hmm. The final basis is my C, which is the new basis. Mm -hmm. Because the relation is true with the Q inverse TBQ, okay, Q inverse, the Q is my change in coordinate, right, of the basis. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, so what is the process of finding the Q, by the way? So, uh, step one, you want to find the, for sure, I want to find all. So, I want to find TC, I want to find TB, but those are mm -hmm. easy anyhow, but the mm -hmm. hard part is finding Q. When you find the Q, you get your inverse matrix. And then you put yeah. them all in that relation. You want to verify the left equals to the right. So mm -hmm. what is it that you want to find, by the way? They didn't say, yeah, you want to find TBTC. So mm -hmm. let's go on with the TBTC. Uh, so what is your basis? Uh, so what is T of 1, 2? So uh, to work TB, I want to go with the T1, 2, and I want to work with the T2, 1, right? Mm -hmm. So you apply the T. Okay, for those, so, so A and B, how much do I get? Yeah, let's put it, one minus six, right? And mm -hmm. then uh, two minus a three. Mm -hmm. Minus five minus two. Okay, so you follow me if I do. Yeah. yeah two and one, so we have a two minus a three, and then one minus six. Minus mm -hmm. one minus five. Okay, so the matrix um, that transforms the bases so we say TB would be those in a, put those in a column, right? Mm -hmm. So I would get uh, minus five, minus one, and then minus one, minus five. Mm -hmm. Okay, I would do the same for TC. So this is the way I would go on. So this is for the B basis, and this is for the C basis, let's say. Mm -hmm. Those the beta, lambda, in this case, it's a B and a C. Okay, now I'm working in 2, 4 and 0, 5. Okay, go ahead, what are these numbers? So I'm gonna say A, which is a 2 minus 12, and then B, which is a 4 minus 6. And then right here, this is a 0, right? So I don't have A, mm -hmm. uh, I have a B only, that's it. So minus 10, minus 2, and this is done. So in this case, I would end by, yeah, put this as a matrix, which is minus 10, minus two, and the minus 15 and the five. Okay, that's it. Now the Q, how do you find the Q? Because I am moving from the new to the, the new basis now, okay? I wanna write the new basis in terms of the old. Mm -hmm. So to find the Q always, you do this. Because many students are confused, how what what is it that I should do? And to find the Q implies uh, find the new basis in terms of the old. Yeah. Find the new basis, right? I mean, right? The new basis in terms. Find the new basis or right in terms of the old one. Okay. So in this case, I want to write. Um, the new, the new is the C, I mean the old one. The old one is a B, the new is a C. So I wanna write C in terms of, so let me copy this again. I need to see it. Okay, mm -hmm. I wanna write C in terms of, it means, it means write C in terms of B. So I wanna start by two, four. So how do you write two, four? as something for one, two, 
and another thing for two one. You get it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the two, the one two, the one two is right here, and the two one is right there. So this is guaranteed by mm -hmm. a matrix. I mean, those can be called x and y. So this is the x column mm -hmm. and this is the y column. Okay. And mm -hmm. see, see the trick if uh, if your professor went through. So I want to do both in one matrix. Okay. See the approach. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is uh, the best. So what I'm going to write again is 0, 5. Okay, 0, 5 in terms of this, 1, 2. And again, something in terms of 2, 1. We don't know. So you are doing the same process two times, right? You won't do this in separate matrix. So mm -hmm. combine those in one matrix. All in one matrix, you can solve. Mm -hmm. So which one is the equality? You know, when it is equality, we put it at the end of the matrix. Mm -hmm. so I'm supposed to put two four right here, right? Mm -hmm. I put the one two there, two one here. So that should be solved once. And again, I should change this. I want to make uh, make it zero five. You get it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So what do we do now? What do you guess? I would do both on the same matrix. <laughs> you get? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that may be confusing, but this is uh, Cohen's approach always. Mm, Professor, oh. he's mm -hmm. the chairman of two five one by the way. Mm, yeah. Now he may not be listed now, but he is the big guy. Uh, mm -hmm. if you know. Okay, yeah. so this is Cohen's approach. He would put both in one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so be careful not to be confused. Uh, do you have any question that this is the C? Mm -hmm. This is the C. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So to make it clear for you, so this is the C, and I'm writing it in terms of those guys. Anyhow, you do now Gauss Jordan. That's it. Your job mm -hmm. is to do the Gauss Jordan scenario. Okay. So this is already a one. Okay. Now. Let's do if you want, and then I would leave it for you that you verify, you verify mm -hmm. that this is true. What is true? Mm -hmm. If I get the Q, you get its inverse, but anyhow, I, I would just do, mm -hmm. okay. do you want me to continue? Uh, no, it's okay. Okay, so what do you, what do you wanna jump to? Apply Gauss Jordan, just to make sure. And mm -hmm. you wanna end by one, zero, zero, one, and you end by something right here. So this is my Q. So mm -hmm. where's my Q? This guy. Okay. Let me put it in red. This is my Q. Now mm -hmm. I want to make sure that you know it's inverse. So if if Q is it's a two by two, right? Mm -hmm. So tell me what is my inverse? So I'm testing you now. <laughs> okay. um, so we interchange A and D because in two by two, no need to work it the long way. Okay. Two by three, okay. Inverse oh. of two by two is memorized. Mm. You just interchange A D position. Mm -hmm. And the BC would be in minuses. Mm. Now, what do I put right here? Do you know? Times one over the determinant. Perfect. And the determinant would be any of this or that. So it's AD minus BC. And that's mm -hmm. it. Good. Okay. So those are yep. the numbers now in your case. Those are the numbers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I, I would leave it for you. Then you verify. Then you want to verify. You mm -hmm. verify. And this is what they are asking you to do. Okay. Then you will mm -hmm. verify that the T for the new basis, which is C, is equal to Q inverse times T B times Q. Mm -hmm. So what is it that to verify that the left side, the left side is mm -hmm. equal to the right side? For sure that you multiply every these two or whatever two and then okay, you know how to multiply. Okay. Yeah. 